this is a wheel. Mechanic. Um, it is off my Citroen C6. It is from the offside rear. It's the tyre that I had two punctures repaired on before I went away to Silverstone um, recently, and it, they have become unrepaired, um, which has caused it to go flat at the bottom. The rest of it's fine, um, which is annoying because in percentage terms, that's only about 10% of the tyre is flat. That's how it works, isn't it? Uh, so basically, I have put one of the old wheels on, which I thought held air, but doesn't. Um, really what that car needs is like four nice, decent tyres and refurbished wheels, but yeah, nah, nah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, a new tyre put on this wheel. I'm only going to bother doing the one because the uh, near side rear has way more tread than this and is a different type of tyre. It's a different brand and everything, so it's, it's got odd tyres on already. It's got loads of rubber left on it. I'm not about wasting stuff. Let's, I'll use it. Uh, I'm going to get the uh, new tyre put onto this rim, the cheapest one I can find, um, and then I'm going to put it back on the car. The shape of the future comes into focus with the latest Citroen. At a unique demonstration before press and public at Kailami, SA Mirror takes a look at a ballet on three wheels, the wheel and turn of a Citroen cavalcade that spells out safety. Can a C6 do it? In theory, the C6 can do it. It can drive on three wheels, just as any hydropneumatic Citroen, like the Tomato. There's a very simple reason why, and I can use the Tomato to demonstrate this. I simply need to fire it up. Okay, so I can't start it, but being on low suspension does give us the same kind of scenario. You'll notice, because it's sunk, there's no suspension. It's rock hard. Now at the moment, if I were to jack this up, the wheels would dangle, but that doesn't matter, that's irrelevant. If I were to put the suspension on high, as high as it goes, maintenance mode, it goes rock solid, it fully extends, there's no more travel. It goes right to the top. And it's when it's at that point, you can drive them on three wheels. It's nothing to do with the suspension being hydropneumatic, it's nothing to do with it being clever, it's basically because it's rock hard. The suspension's gone rock hard, you can drive it on three wheels. Any three wheels? No. You cannot take off one of the front wheels. It has to be one of the back wheels. Why does it have to be one of the back wheels? because the weight is on the front. The weight balance of the car is biased towards the front. The weight of the engine and gearbox at the front keeps one of the back wheels off the ground because the suspension can't soak it up. If you were to try doing it on normal ride height, it would just hit the deck, just like any other car. It's not a design feature of the suspension at all. Citroen had no intention of people driving the car on three wheels. Because the only prerequisite of any Citroen pulling off this trick is that it has to be one of the back wheels and I can remove the back wheels, and the suspension has to be on high and have gone rock solid. And I can put it on high and make it go rock solid. That's the only two things it has to do. So the C6, in theory, can do it. It weighs two tonnes and it's got lots of expensive gear underneath that could be damaged if it hit the ground. Yeah, I wanna know. So the first thing I need to know is whether or not the car will drive in high mode because it's got a million and one different computers and I can't help but wonder, will it let me drive with the suspension in high? So to put the suspension high in a C6, very simple. You just have to wait for the screen to go, go away. How do I make you go away? Right, up once, that's intermediate. And then up again. 
and we are currently raising. My concern is that it won't let me drive with it or it'll just come back down again. And if it comes back down when I've only got three wheels on, that'll be bad. Ah, high position, max speed, five miles an hour. Five? All right, so I'm in drive. Off the brake. I've got four wheels on at the moment, so it's not a big deal. Right, I'm not touching any pedals, and we're doing five miles an hour. And the suspension does feel firm, like there's no, oh, there's no travel in it at all, it's rock hard. Right, okay. Just trying to do five mile an hour in reverse as well. That's just on the pedals, that's not, I'm not touching anything. So help, that's five. I'm doing five. So if I accelerate, that's six, seven, it's going down. It has returned to intermediate height. If it does that with a wheel missing, it's gonna fall over. So if I touch the throttle, or it just happens to go above five mile an hour when I put it in gear and take my foot off the brake, I'm gonna brake it. So really, this is a stupid thing to do. Five. It hasn't gone over five when I've let go of the pedal. What about if I put it in manual? It creeps quite nicely, oh, that's five as well. Put it in second. I'm gonna hit a wall. Right, the suspension is now at normal height. I'm going to assist it by driving the back wheel over this bit of wood on this ramp. And I'm hoping when I put the suspension on high mode, it might lift the wheel off the ground. That would be ideal, because then I wouldn't need a jack. I don't want to use a jack, because the jack bends the jacking points, because the jacking points are rubbish. So what I'm thinking, if I just back up onto this, that should, no that's not up. Oop. Is that on? Yes. Go oh, on, lift yourself off the ground. It's when that goes up. When the front goes up and goes solid, it might lift this back wheel off the ground. That would be ideal. Why has it stopped? Is that it? I mean, it's taken some weight off of the back end because that tire was pretty flat, but... Hmm, okay. Well, I guess I'll just take a wheel off then. Things you do for social validation. The problem is the jacking points on this are horrendous. It's got those blades along the sides. And there's not really anything under there, but that's why I've backed it up on this bit of wood, because then it takes the weight off, so I don't really have to lift it very high. That's the plan. Like that. I've barely had to lift it at all. Is this the stupidest thing I've ever done? I'm gonna put the engine on. Just in case it tries to lower itself. 
So in theory, oh, this feels very unnatural. Look at all those wires and sensors and things. Oh, I can hear this, the suspension here reacting, it's doing something. Oh! business when I get in and move it off the wood because it is of course aided at the moment oh, I got into that normally I forgot I only had three wheels right so if I Doesn't sound good. No, no you can't.